Um, la première. At the Co-op Academy in Priestthorpe near Leeds, the school day begins every day at 8.30 sharp. And in this, the last lesson of the day, these Year 11 students are expected to be as sharp as they were at the beginning of the day. But there is research that because of the way teenagers' brains work, students like these could benefit from a later start. Campaigners say it would help improve their school performance. An adolescent needs about eight to ten hours, so even at sort of puberty time, they actually need the same amount of sleep as a young child, and they're just simply not getting it. But ask some of the students here whether they'd like an extra hour in bed and a later start in the morning and a later finish, they're not all jumping at the chance. Teenagers are going to soon become in the world of work and when they start work there's not many job opportunities which give the room for them to wake up at 10 o'clock. Well, then they're kind of starting early which means you finish late and then sometimes meals are important to some families so that might just break that completely. Now I'd like to start by reading the petition. School should start at 10 a.m. as teenagers are too tired. After an online petition calling for a later start to the school day gathered 176,000 signatures, MPs set aside time to debate the issue today in the House of Commons. Many professionals, though, believe good teaching rather than more sleep is the best way to motivate their students. What potentially could happen within two or three weeks is that students' sleep pattern would just uh, deviate to the new pattern there and they'd still end up waking up late and still end up waking up tired. Three o'clock is home time here today. Teenagers have plenty of time for after-school activities, to do their homework and to get a good night's sleep. Damon Green, ITV News, in West Yorkshire.